All right, good evening, good evening. Welcome, everybody. We are a bit early tonight, and uh, definitely I just want to put this disclaimer in here and a very good uh, present in here today with my two fellow good friends, uh, Chun Kam Ki from Macquarie Warren Malaysia as one of our special guest, as, guest speaker, and not to forget our special coach Fu tonight from uh, Trade VSA in here uh, sharing with his years experience in the stock market, particularly one of the instrument that he uses a lot. And he has a few ways to look at it and how you can also benefit tonight in here. So the topic for tonight will be kind of special as we are still gathering a few more people to come in. Uh, but what we'll be talking is definitely the rise of the AI, which is actually a very favorite topic in here, which I've been uh, a student of the world of computer studies, right? I was actually uh, a lover of computers uh, during my days in the uni days, but also venture into the finance as such that many of you know by now that I've gone into finance and started to dwindle along into trading, short-term trading, a lot of the systems enhancement, and then finally learning volume spread analysis. Many of you have seen uh, learning from Tom Williams and also my other Sifu in Malaysia, uh, Mr. Bill Wormai, who introduced uh, volume spread analysis to me much earlier at that time. And, you know, the whole process eventually popped up to where we are right now. Many of you are familiar with our products, which is the uh, Trade VSA uh, uh, flagship product. We are VSA 360 and not to forget the very popular Smart Roby apps that you are seeing in here. Now, I have to say it hasn't been uh, easy, but thanks to some of your support that uh, we've been getting, many of you have been supporting and sharing this uh, wonderful apps with your friends and so forth, and it has worked out very nicely. But we do hope that for the year 2023, we'll continue to grow with a slew of apps and even expanding further uh, to some offshore in here as part and parcel of us learning together in the uh, stock market, all right? And uh, I also said that the volume spread, anal volume spread analysis, which has always been part and parcel of what we do here, really starting price and volume, and able to explain it to everybody in here, right? regardless of how old you are. And that's where we have uh, been trying to do in here. So uh, it's almost time now, and we're going to be starting. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome to our live Facebook tonight in here. Uh, we have two guest speakers tonight. Uh, definitely, you have seen from the slide below me here, uh, other than myself, I'll be starting off and then followed by Chung Kam Ki for Macquarie. And then later on by one of our favorite, very experienced Coach Fu will talk about it. Yeah, so tonight is going to be slightly longer, about an hour, uh, more than an hour. Uh, so maybe one hour, one and a half hours in here. So all of us will be talking slightly different topic from our different experience so remember tonight it's going to be a broad base but it, but the more of it is just still going to be focused on the uh, uh equity market the financial market and uh, uh full being uh, uh what we call the uh vf you all know about we have volume flow which is he popularized it as a creator of this very wonderful indicator so he will share some of his experiences how to look into the the market, which is also a branch of volume spread analysis, as I said before earlier on, learning volume with definitely. And then we have uh, Mr. Chung Kam Ki from Macquarie, Warren Malaysia, working us together uh, to come out with great products, how you can leverage on this market in here using this as an opportunity to capture it. After all, we are talking about the US market tonight in here. So without further ado, let's get on to where we are. So tonight's sharing will be on the US market the ai sectors that you have seen where is the market likely to be heading i'm going to be showing some charts according to what we have from the vsc standpoint and also looking into trading and uh, introduction to the us index with warren of course huh? a very simple warren what kind of strategy work better do you want to go long or short in this kind of time frame in here and then finally uh, full will come in understanding structured warren for better trading opportunity and as such that we all know which is i've been telling everybody year 2023 is a year of consolidation we will not get what we used to see in 2022 and one of the what better ways to avoid some of the uh, downfall as i said before is by looking at the pentagon guide and definitely vsa 360 has some of those 
uh, benefits able to notify you. Of course, those of you who've been regularly using that would have known this already in here. And thank you for sharing tonight. Some of you who have came in, in here, uh, so uh, do share this in your timeline and we are really thank you for your support. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube. Let's get on to something which is very dear hard to me is the uh, history of computer science. Now, what you see in this picture in here is one of the first personal computer, right? In those days, they have very big, big computer. And this was one of the first, you could see they don't really have a, a monitor. So whatever you do, you type it in there and you're connected to the processor in here, which is the one with the uh, black dial in here. So the first computer was really room size, but it was really expensive, but they shrunk it into at least one of the desktop that you see here, which is not too bad, actually. All right? The one that I started using, we were using uh, the Macintosh and also the green terminal. I don't remember, you guys remember. So over time, computer got smaller and smaller until finally, what we have right now is the mobile phone, which is the modern mobile phone, which is in many ways is also very computers driven in here. But what has made it very popularized is also what uh, something that uh, Bill Gates was saying, the invention of internet, where we bring people, especially in the last three years, COVID, right? Internet has made us at least in many ways closer than we were. You know, I could have called my brother in Australia, I could have called my friends in Hong Kong and US, and many times we even can do uh, uh, working. Right? You all would know the work from home was very popular during the COVID. So it has really changed the way we communicate. And many of those stocks you have you seen before, Zoom, Peloton, and, and some of those stocks uh, have done very well in the COVID. And, now, and there has been a change ever since COVID has opened in here. But what is truly remarkable in the area of the uh, computer science and also artificial intelligence is machine learning. Machine learning was uh, one of the first steps after they are able to figure out how to calculate, you know, like uh, two times two times two times two, right? So one of the first things they were talking about artificial intelligence was the development of machine learning. Now, what it means by machine learning is that there's a set of principles of codes that you put into a computer, like mathematical models, all mathematical statistical model that machine can learn and they store all those lessons learned, uh, the plus point and the negative point to able to improve from them. And that's why we, we, we say it before, hey, this machine is quite smart. And for those of you, many of you who have a chance to play around with ChatGPT would have known that. And if you have not used ChatGPT, I'm going to show something, some of the real gamer in here. And I find it's very, very enjoyable. You haven't done so. The technology right now is being used every day. Else. I think many of you would have uh, uh, what we call um, uh, AI, uh, speaker at home. I have both. I have a Google Home, which I can talk to. Okay, Google, play something for me. Uh, or I have an Alexa that plays news again. Those are the very, very principal. But what I've seen in ChatGPT, eventually you're going to have ChatGPT in your Google Home in there. Eventually it'll be integrated. It's like an assistant. Like some people call it, it's like a personal trainer in here. And it's very, it's very exciting, but yet very, very scary too in here. Now, what has gone out from machine learning, we have moved over to deep learning and robotics. Deep learning is like the, the brain, the software for, for the computers. Okay, the software of robotics is the ability to move the arm. That's in simply system. So what they have done in is another branch of the computer science called neural networks. Neural networks basically model like just like how the brain work. And that's why you need a lot of the computer chips, the semiconductors, because each of them function like each single neuron that you see. And the, the, the computers are very good to learn vast amount of data. Now, give you an example in here. When the first neural network came in, they actually trained a computer model to differentiate between uh, Darth Vader and a cat. All right, so they train them on watching a lot of YouTube video, the Darth Vader, right? So eventually, uh, they train them for almost 12,600 uh, 12, hours, you know, training them and training them until, until a point they're able to differentiate that Vader and a cat. And that's all they do. That was the simplest, uh, that was a, a, a example that we learned about six years ago, six or eight years ago, just before the COVID. Fast forward to, to, to 2022, where we see in the spring, a lot of new company AI has been released. And only last year, November, when I heard first heard of ChatGPT, I was already playing with it. After five days, it was released because I was using ChatGPT version three and version four. This is ChatGPT version five, right? Of course, the, the story behind it, there was a lot of learning, a lot of what we call generative 
uh, AI learning and correcting its mistakes. So you can see from here, it actually need a trained supervised policy. So there was also a, a say, a, a talking some of the uh, uh, recognition of uh, of uh, text, uh, uh, which is done by uh, third party contractors where they need to iron up some of the negative languages, some of these are, are found. So they have to correct it in here. And all those are actually done much, much earlier. Right now, what you see, ChatGPT is already been cleaned up all, all sort of the data in here. So AI has made some of the movement. Uh, eventually, we've seen this also in factories in here to be very, very capable. ChatGPT is in another class, what we call AI generated content branch, right? Just like what we call neural network, they're able to learn self correct it, right? And then generated means they look at different, different types of uh, a model in here. They have a reward and then they also have a, what we call a punishment. So when this reward is correct, the humans will mark it and then you will generate those extra points. The negative one will be deemed as uh, a, a negative, so they'll cancel it off. And that's how they generally become better. So one of the reasons why you've seen ChatGPT has been allowed for you is because they want humans to go in to play around with it and able to say this is correct, this is not. So it's beginning smarter and smarter, right? So at one point, they were talking about less than 10 years, the computer will overtake humans, right? They still have problems uh, in the processing uh, emotion in here. Now, here are some of the jobs that they felt that knowledge worker will be likely to be taken. They didn't say anything about replacing jobs, but definitely some of them like software developer, accountants, bookkeeper, lawyer, some of them are in legal and office, I mean, stuff will become more productive, right? It can be more productive or somewhere, uh, this word I don't like to use, right? You can use your own imagination, but these are what we call the productive multiplier. And this is from the uh, ARC, research which is you know uh, run by uh the the firm uh kathy woods in here so they talk about productivity that will increase by 140 percent which means one person will able to do office admin let's say uh, now can do software development or so can also do accounting job so you know one leg kick off you know you heard that term before right so that is becoming more and more popular and at the same time it's becoming more and more scary too all right, so that is the chat. Now let's talk about chat GPT, which many of you experienced. I was trying to log in to show you some example in here, but again, it's experiencing high demand. And for those who don't know, each day, right, uh, the uh, chat GPT, right, uh, are burning almost 3 million US dollars for their expenses, okay, in terms of payroll, using the computer. At any one time, there's close about 15 to 20 million people logging in, but you don't see it at all. You know, that's why you're seeing this. That's how powerful the ability of the computer able to service in here. Of course, many examples that you can do is the creative one. It's very good in creative, like HTTP requests. All right, uh, you can even do a recipe. You know, I asked how to make Hailam chicken rice. They did that. And one of the great things that it can remember earlier conversation. If you don't press a new chat, it will be still that. Tell me another example. Tell me more. And that's really, really powerful, especially in the sense of education in here. I, I introduced ChatGPT to Bill when we met up last Saturday uh, for a coffee, right? And immediately a, a person got hooked into it. I think many of you were good hooked into it too. But there are some limitations, of course, negative things they don't want it to generate. Now, one of the things I use a lot is summary right like for example there was a uh, article on insider uh, talk about insider in malaysia so i gave the article to uh, chat gpt i said explain to me it's as if i'm seven years old so then he said that uh, talk about uh the insider operator in malaysia right this was uh, the people who work for a company and no secret about company money they make it very simple they don't sort of buy they sometimes use secret information to buy and sell related to the company this is called insider in trading but it's not allowed remember uh, and you're telling a seven year old uh, when people who work for a company buy things with the price of things usually go up and when they sell you should this is not fair because they use secret information to make money for themselves can you understand right yeah and people and uh, so people who don't work for the guy copy what these insiders do and they make money right so this is not fair because these people have information so it's much easier to understand. So in future, you have anything that you don't understand from internet, cut and put into GPT, it can do it for you. That's one of the things very, very powerful. Because sometimes I want to explain very technical terms to people like yourself in here. And chat GPT definitely helped me in that. Then another one, I said, that thing that you just explained to me, the seven-year-old, right? Can you translate to my friend who doesn't understand English? 
but to Mandarin, right? And you can do uh, Mandarin translation in here, right? So that's one powerful, you can handle languages out there. So another one was just now in, 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 while I was drawing back from my office back home, I had a lizard. A lizard got into my car because I parked my car into a house. So I was figuring out how to get off the lizard. Then uh, my wife would say, ask chat GPT, lah, Martin, you think he's so smart. So I asked him how to get rid of a lizard inside the car. He said that uh, one of the ways use a broom or stick, use a trap. And the funny thing is that chat GPT is so humanly conscious. They said that lizards are beneficial to humankind because they eat insects. If you do capture him in the vacuum cleaner, right? Make sure you dispose it outside, but don't kill it. <laughs> I became so funny that I said, well, ChatGD is not know how, but it is so funny, right? And the next thing you know is that uh, if you cannot catch it using vacuum cleaner, the reason why uh, the lizard come to your car because it's looking for a place to hide, right? Somewhere, and they're very shy. So if you want to convince the lizard to leave your car, you set up another trap, which look like a house. So hopefully the lizard will go into that small house stay in there and you take the house and then let it off in a park or a forest so don't kill it in here so it's kind of funny you know the uh the, the way gdb can handle in here and they, they put so much this kind of creative dvd into it that you felt that wow this guy is really smart or, or this chat gpt is really smart and it's amazing this is just one part of it in here of course most people will always ask what stock should i buy next week or what stock should i buy in 2022 this is one part Again, ChatGPT will say that they are not good in analysis. Analysis, there's no guarantee. You can try it out in there. Or you can say, uh, who is better, uh, President Trump or, or, or uh, President Biden? He refused to answer that. But if you list the achievement in there, so they, they are very subjective. They won't go into some of these very uh, uh, political as well as uh, negative terrorists like how to make a bomb, they will not tell you that, all right? So that's that's how powerful it is. So back to the context of the stock market, what's important from a stock market in here is how can we benefit from here in here? Because remember, ChatGPT only came out in uh, in December, okay? And it came out in December, it's already February, it's already two months, and it's creating a lot, a lot of buzz in here. And, and definitely the stock market has already run already, okay? They already run up already. So the question is, can it still go higher? So one of the things I've been doing a bit on my own research, of course, you can also ask ChatGPT, what are the stocks that will benefit from the movement of the AI? He will suggest the normal one that they normally do in here, including uh, Amazon, including NVIDIA, including uh, uh, IBM, because those are has been literally out in the market for the last uh, 10 months or so in here. So you look at uh, NVIDIA, ASML, Intel, and AMD, right? No introduction needed, all right? This, this kind of company in here. But what I want to show you is the stock chart, all right? The stock chart. So I have the daily chart, right? This is using our trade BSA and also on the weekly chart on the right. So remember, weekly chart on the right, daily chart on the left. So you can see that ever since we have been, been coming in from January, when ChatGPT, the market has already run. But right now, the market is going through correction. But if you look at where uh, Nvidia was previously at high in uh, uh, um, early 2022, it was almost $350. Right now, it's 206. It just turned Red Pentagon last time because of the sell-off that we've seen because they are talking about raising 75 basis points. So in the long run, if ChatGPT were to, to move the movement of it, how the evolution, it's no longer that we can say, hey, uh, AI or ChatGPT is a technology. But finally, it has come into the mainstream because teachers right now are seriously looking into how I can use chat GPT. I introduced it to a friend of mine who have a seven-year-old uh, daughter. I said, uh, do you know what, what your daughter like? I said, I don't know, right? I said, what do your daughter, what kind of pet do you like? He said, the, doc, uh, the daughter like fishes and the daughter like uh, 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 cakes. So I just told chat GPT, please suggest some activity to uh, my daughter who like uh, cakes and like fish. And you have a list of things that will come up you never thought of it before. It's like, yeah, so it's kind of, so one of the things that you will notice is that why don't you make a cake, right, in an aquarium, <laughs> near aquarium or within an aquarium, you know, that thing, right? Something like that is quite smart. I never thought about it too. So immediately people find that, you know, this, this thing is there. So what is going to be driving the chat GPT as chat GPT will be available to a lot of applications, including some of the things that we use daily, like Gmail, uh, like uh, uh, Hotmail, Microsoft, Excel, all these uh, will be the computer and the powering chips. 
NVIDIA is definitely one of them uh, doing a lot on AI. Previously, they were very, very hot on crypto, right? Two, three years ago, a lot of people talk about NVIDIA, crypto, but the next powering of AI will be definitely. So right now, the market on a weekly basis is just turned uh, green pentagon in here, still on the up, nice uptrend. Now, next one is ASML. ASML, it's a Dutch company, well known for making the machines that make those chips, those wafer chips, which is the five micron and the three micron. Uh, TSMC bought a lot of them. Lamb Research bought a lot of them. So this company, again, if you look from the weekly chart, it went up almost to touching $900. But right now, the market, it went down to $400 in here. Since then now, it's just short of $620. Again, similar to uh, NVIDIA, just dropped down on the red pentagon. But on the green pentagon, weekly chart, it is still in an uptrend. Now, next one is my favorite, which I have, is Taiwan Semiconductors, right? Taiwan Semiconductors, they make the five micron in here. Again, same story, uh, weekly, uh, on the weekly chart, it's a nice uptrend, a nice pullback. So you just need to wait out the pullback in here, find a good support, wait for the weekly pentagon, right? Uh, uh, to still be the green one. And when you turn green pentagon on the local market, that's something you want to take a look. But you want to check out also some of the story going behind a TSMC as such that previously it was bought by uh, Warren Buffett. He sold a huge amount of it, but he still has some of it in here. It's only TSMC in here. Next is Microsoft. Okay, Microsoft cannot be ignored because Microsoft was one of the uh, the the uh, sponsor. You know, to put in the project to the OpenAI company it was founded by Elon Musk. Right? And then finally, as a, uh, Sam Altman, which is a CEO, decided to take it to a profitable model in here. And a lot of what I said before, the 10 to 15 million users who is using ChatGPT will have to log in into the uh, the cloud and use it. So that's where Microsoft is. Okay, So you can see Microsoft uh, uh, is really uh, 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 hitting a previously high in the top here. And then since then, has pulled back to this level in here. But then on the weekly chart, it's still looking pretty good, around $252, in, as you can see from here. So that is a nice pullback. So what we are seeing now is really a nice pullback in terms of a longer run. If ChatGPT were to move higher in here. Finally, is AMD, the one that power a lot of the, uh, the uh, server chips as well as a PC chip. Again, same one. Pull back right now on the daily. It's turning red Pentagon just two days ago. So we'll see these stocks starting to pull back in here as it absorb the news of the interest rate high. If that thing is once it's all over, it will resume a new trend going up that we see in here. Right now it's 76. It did hit 160. So it's down more than 50% in here. Now, having said that, I'm coming to my very short half an hour presentation in here. I have another art generated by dal e open ai okay so i told uh uh the because i wanted to express something to my audience who is listening tonight in here i want to say that like it or not the technology stock that you saw just now it's part of what we see today or tomorrow or tonight the kind of short-term volatility but overall it is a longer trend in the stock market those are nvidia tsmc Microsoft and ASML. So you can see here, this is what they draw out, right? The short-term volatility is this one here, the red and the green, the red and the green, right? you can see up and down, but the longer trend, which is the purple line is going up. And it is precisely what Dow E Open AI able to think of. So this is the best visualization in here. Anytime when we see the daily chart has some sort of correction, but the longer term we are seeing on the weekly chart, this chart started the month. It's just amazing, right? What we're seeing today in here, okay? So the other groups of stocks I want to bring in is also uh, by Kathy Wood. Many of you have known, especially in our group, uh, the Telegram chat. Uh, this is a picture of my other Sifu, Bill Wumai, who introduced it. So when Kathy Wood came uh, down to a KL, on 13th of December, he actually asked me to go along too, but he couldn't get the tickets. It was by invitation only, uh, which is organized. But you can still watch that video on the YouTube. It's about an hour long. Pretty interesting. He talks about some of the composition that she has on those ETF, like Innovation ETF, automo uh, Autonomous Robotics, and her idea why this 
uh, uh, this big movement that started, right? It's still in the uptrend. No doubt the fund or the ETF has lost a bit of the ground. She also offered explanation right now in here, but she's, she's still bullish. And you all know previously she bought a lot of Tesla when Tesla fell uh, last year. And since then, Tesla has recovered almost 60 to 70% in here, right? She can be very controversy at the same time, but go over to YouTube and just type in the uh, the uh, Katie Wood in Kuala Lumpur or Malaysia. You can find the, get that video and watch it too. So very interesting things is in here. So on the US stock landscape, why this is very exciting, I just want to bring down, uh, this is also from Art Research in here. Uh, you can see the two areas that I'm very familiar is the battery technology. Right now, 2020 is worth 1.5 trillion, but it is have in 10 years time, it will have what we call a Kage, uh, a cumulative average growth of 35%. The battery technology, no, no doubt, right? Just like today, I, I actually took my son to go over to the BYD, uh, the, the Chinese electric car, and check out that car. It was just near my house inside there. And uh, you'll be surprising. I, the first question I did ask, how much petrol can I save? He said that this car, in short, if you charge to give you 480 kilometer, how much I have to pay for electric city? 34 ringgit. That's all. So to go 480 kilometer is 34 ringgit. Not, not really, you know, not like 10, 20 ringgits in here because petrol prices is very cheap. Remember, petrol prices is very cheap, right? So if you compare maybe to Thailand or Singapore, uh, where you pay uh, 4 ringgit to a liter, then uh, I think the uh, electric car is, is, is the way to go. I still believe in that. I am looking at one point in time to buy the because the model they have here the, the 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 compact SUV is a bit small for me in here. I prefer big car. I'm a tall person in here. So uh, the area we're talking about is actually the purple one, which is the chat GPT. Why it's so exciting? Uh, right now the market size is about ten point five trillion. It will grow to twenty six trillion, which means eventually more and more people will be using a lot of this, and they see it is moving into the mainstream. Definitely, many of the people who are in the creative world are uh, like yourself. Hey. This one now can copy my song, can can generate the lyrics inside here. You know something again, but this is this is a big movement that we've seen in here. Just like previously, we never know that we we were able to do talks on live Facebook, and you'll be sitting from home. Now there's no people go out and actually you know listen to to uh to a seminar, but unless it's really a concert or the person is really famous that you want to go out and reach out and shake the hand, just like what uh. uh Global Mind has done so. All right, so that completes my US uh, AI stocks. I've given you a couple of stocks. So there is still a lot of challenges going out in, in there, but definitely the opportunity is, is, is here, All right? But meanwhile, you enjoy the world, look into a stocks where you can really buy right now, especially this year, and write that long term, all right? So I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna bring the next speaker, which will talk about how we will use uh, a US index, okay? Now, remember, a US index is one way, especially the US net has a very strong market capitalization and technology. If the tech stock, like what we saw just now, Microsoft move, Tesla move, uh, this index will play into very favorably if you are a trader, both in the long term or in the, even the short term, you can actually short it in here. So uh, I'll bring in the uh, next speaker in here, right, uh, Mr. Chung Kamke, Kamki, sorry, Chung Kamki from Macquarie Warren to talk about what their company is doing now to give this kind of opportunity and he'll be sharing with us on the latest uh, development that he has. Thank you. Take it away. All right. Um, thank you so much, uh, Martin. Good evening to everyone here on the session. And uh, before I start, I just want to thank uh, Trade VSA for uh, giving me the uh, opportunity to be uh, guest speaking here in this session tonight. Uh, my name is uh, Kamki, and uh, you can call me KK. And I'm a member of the uh, sales team here in Macquarie Warrens, uh, Malaysia. And uh, the topic for tonight is uh, how you can leverage your portfolio uh, with Macquarie's uh, US index. All right. Now, um, during this presentation, I uh, in line with the team tonight, um, I'll be discussing about uh, our warrants over the uh, U.S. indices. I'll also be walking you through the uh, benefits of trading warrants and uh, how you can gain leverage exposure to the U.S. indices uh, without leaving Busa, Malaysia. So, <clears throat> warrants, uh, they offer unique opportunities for investors 
And um, I actually look forward to demonstrating how um, they can be used as, as another valuable tool in your portfolio. So um, we'll also explore some of the uh, free tools that uh, you can use to improve your warrant trading experience and uh, to trade warrants better. And also uh, as a bonus, um, please stay tuned until the end of my session. It will be only a, a short session. Um, please stay tuned till the end as uh, I have something special uh, you don't want to miss. All right, um, our company is running um, an exciting answer and win and uh, contest where you can answer two simple questions for a chance to win a grab voucher worth 50 ringgit. So uh, I'll be sharing uh, all the details uh, on how you can participate later. So um, uh, don't miss out, all right? Um, without wasting any more time, um, let me just jump to the uh, topic for today. Um, of, of course, uh, uh, as a disclaimer, before we begin, I kindly request uh, that everyone refrain from sharing or, or downloading, uploading, or, or otherwise uh, making available any of the uh, of this material from, from this webinar to the public without our prior uh, consent. Um, also, this uh, presentation material has not been reviewed by the Securities Commission. And uh, please note that uh, investment products, including warrants, they are subject to uh, significant investment uh, risks, um, including the uh, possible loss of uh, principal invested, and also uh, that past performance is, is not indicative of uh, future performance. Um, I also want to emphasize that the uh, information shared in this uh, presentation is for educational and uh, illustration purposes only. Um, it should not be taken as uh, investment views or, or strategies or recommendations to buy or sell or conclude any transactions. So it's important to, to seek um, advice from a, from a financial advisor about the suitability of the uh, investment product before you commit to invest in it. All right. So um, over the next... Uh, over in the next, I think, 20 to 25 minutes or so, um, I'll cover five key areas. Um, first, I'll, I'll give a brief introduction to structured warrants, um, especially to those who are new to these uh, instruments. Um, after that, I'll proceed to show how you can uh, diversify your portfolio with, with our warrants over the uh, U.S. indices and uh, how you can easily identify these warrants that are listed in uh, Busa, Malaysia, in your trading platform. All right. And um, after that, we can proceed. Uh, I'll demonstrate to you how you can use the uh, free tools that we have uh, on our website and uh, uh, show you how you can select suitable warrants and how you can use the uh, warrant heat map tool uh, in collaboration with Trade VSA to easily track um, underlying stock trends. And also, um, the, on the last part, I'll share with you the details of our current contest and explain how you can join and, and send a chance to win a voucher worth uh, 50 ringgit, all right? So <clears throat> without further delay, right, let me just begin with the uh, first topic of the uh, session. Um, just just uh, an introduction to warrants. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone here ha have uh, heard of the term structured warrants before, especially if you have been trading in the market for, for some time. Um, structured warrants, they, they are actually listed instruments issued by uh, financial institutions like us or other investment banks that allow you to gain leverage exposure to an underlying asset at only a fraction of its uh, price. They actually track the performance of their underlying asset and, and have been available for trading uh, on Busa Malaysia since uh, I think early 2000. I think, I think early 2000s, yeah. Then um, this, this underlying assets, right, it can be any types of stocks, um, local or foreign, it can also be uh, over uh, indices as well as uh, ETFs as well, all right? As leveraged products, um, warrants, they allow you to, they allow investors to, to gain exposure to, uh, to an underlying asset with a smaller capital outlay. Um, th this without being subjected to my call, which means um, investors, right, they, they can't lose more than their initial investment. Which, which sets warrants apart from other forms of uh, derivatives or leverage products, all right? There's no margin call with, um, all right? So moving on to the next one, which I'm excited to highlight uh, is, is about our warrant coverage over the US indices. Uh, this includes the Dow Jones uh, average index, as well as the NASDAQ 100 index and the uh, S&P 500 index, all right? So, uh, introducing our U.S. index warrants, 
Um, for your information, in uh, 2016, back way back in 2016, we actually launched our first US index warrant uh, over the S&P 500. So we actually started with uh, two calls and two puts initially over this uh, S&P 500. And over the next five years, right, from there, from 2016 to 2020, we have uh, successfully listed uh, up to 54 warrants over this underlying. And uh, as at the end of uh, 2020, we remain the only warrants issuer to issue warrants over the S&P 500. Because due to the uh, good demand, right, we have actually expanded our product offering to include warrants over the Dow Jones uh, Industrial Average, as well as the NASDAQ 100 Index. Um, this, we actually listed these uh, new warrants in uh, late uh, 2021. And uh, so far, we have seen uh, quite positive response from investors. All right. So, in case, just just in case, I, I'm sure you have you have heard of uh, of these three in the indices. Uh, I mean, in case you are not familiar, um, the S&P 500 actually tracks the performance of the 500 largest U.S. companies uh, listed on the New York Stock Exchange as well as the Nasdaq Exchange. Um, the names uh, includes include all these uh, well-known stocks such as um, Apple. Um, Amazon, Microsoft, uh, Tesla, um, to name a few. All right, this this S and P five hundred index right is considered a, a broader index, and uh, I mean a broader index compared to the other uh, two that we we're discussing lah, which is Dow Jones and Nasdaq. All right, for Dow Jones right, it actually tracks the performance of the thirty blue chips uh, U.S. companies, uh, such as um, American Express, uh, like like Coca Cola and, and so on and so forth. Many see the Dow Jones right as as a strong indicator of the overall success of the U.S. stock market and the economy. All right. Meanwhile, for the Nasdaq 100, um, it only includes stocks that are traded on the Nasdaq exchange, and um, it, it covers various different industries, excluding financial services. And um, th this this index right, it has a heavier focus on big tech companies. All right. So that that's just a brief. A, a brief in the introduction uh, to for these three indices. Um, <clears throat> perhaps, right, you are curious about uh, about the benefits of uh, trading these uh, U.S. index warrants, or or why you, you might consider trading these products in the first place. Right. So, <clears throat> these are some of the advantages uh, of trading these U.S. index warrants. Okay. First one being, I mean, the same like uh, as other warrants, uh, it is the gearing effect. Right, because warrants, right, they can move larger percentages um, compared to their underlying asset due to the gearing effect. Okay, for instance, if let's say um, if a stock is priced at uh, one ringgit, for example, uh, if, if a stock is, is at one ringgit and then its core warrant is priced at 10 cents, if let's say a one cent increase in the warrant's value, right, uh, would result in a very much larger uh, percentage increase compared to a one cent increase uh, in the underlying stock. Okay. This means, right, if both the stock and the warrant are moved by one cent, right, the underlying would have increased by only one percent, whereas the warrant would have increased by ten percent. Okay, this means that warrants they have the potential to offer um, higher percentage change compared to the underlying asset. So this is the main um, reason why many people they uh, tra they trade warrants is uh, due to the gearing fact. Right now, the second the second point. Uh, about trading warrants, right, is that um, they require a lower capital outlay. This means that um, because warrants, they are priced at a lower absolute value than their underlying asset, um, which means, I mean, the, the amount of capital needed in order to start trading right, is relatively lower, right? So this in turn allows traders to diversify. It, it, if let's say the amount of capital needed is lower, right, they will have excess capital to diversify their portfolio uh, into other in investment products, right? Moreover, trading warrants, right, with, with lesser capital, um, you can also save on uh, commission charges and all the uh, trading costs as well, uh, like stamp duties and, and brokerage fees, right? So that that is the second point, um, which is uh, lower in the initial capital. The third point here is that uh, because warrants, they can be issued over any underlying asset that is littered uh, any uh, either locally or, or abroad, so trading warrants right over foreign in index underlines uh, actually provides the investors with more exposure uh, over the overseas markets without without having to leave Malaysia. 
This means that the investors or traders, right, they can leverage their existing uh, trading account or CDS account. Um, they can use their existing CDS or trading account to trade these uh, foreign index warrants. Okay, so they don't need to leave Busan, Malaysia. Lor. At the same time, they can also um, uh, have more options to diversify their portfolio. Okay, so um, that is not all. Uh, of course, that is not all. There are uh, other different advantages as well, such as, um, uh, I mean, in investors who wish to trade warrants, right? Um, there's another av advantage, which is, uh, I mean, in, in which they can trade in both directions of the market, whether if it's up or whether if it's down. So this means they can profit regardless of the market's move. Okay? And also, if you are wondering how, how you can trade US index warrants as the U.S. stock market only trades during the night time in Malaysia, okay? Don't worry, because these warrants, right, they actually track the uh, respective uh, underlying futures contracts. And these uh, underlying futures contracts, they trade 23 hours a day, which means it covers the whole trading hours of Busan, Malaysia, and allowing you to trade during the Asian hours. So you can actually trade it during Busan hours, because the um, futures actually is uh, 23 hours. It, run, it runs 23 hours. All right. And lastly, these products, um, they are also very highly liquid, which makes it very easy for investors or, or traders to enter and exit their positions. All right. So <clears throat> these uh, basically are, are the um, advantages uh, that you can, can um, see uh, by trading warrants. All right. Now, a common question I often uh, uh, receive right, is how to find these warrants on, on, a, on their trailing platform. Here, I will show you how you can easily identify, uh, identify these US warrants in trading platform. All right. okay, to, I mean, to identify these uh, is very easy. I'll just show you in this. If you can see here in this um, table, right, if you're looking for the, perhaps, perhaps for example, if you're looking for the Dow Jones warrants that are listed on Busan Malaysia, the short name for the uh, for these warrants, right, is actually uh, DJIA. So what you you need you can do is is to just search for DJIA, or if you need the stock code, right, it is actually 0658. Okay. Now, likewise for the Nasdaq, um, the short name is actually NDX, while the stock code is um 0659. All right. And uh, lastly, for the S&P 500, you can type in S&P 500 directly. Or if you prefer to use the stock code, you can actually search for 0656. It's uh, uh, it's that easy. So um, once you know um, the short names and the stock codes, right, you may be curious about how you can distinguish between a call warrant from a put warrant. Okay, um, it is it is a common misconception that um, there is only one one warrant uh, one warrant type in it, um, which is the call warrant. But in reality, right, there are actually two different types of warrants. One is call warrant, the other one is uh, put warrant. To differentiate between these two, right, you can actually look at the alphabet following the name of the underlying asset. Such as, uh, I mean, in this case, if you see here, um, uh, the, the asset name is uh, DJIA, right? If let's say you see, um, you look at the alphabet after the uh, asset name, the, uh, the product name. If, if, if it's a C, it stands for a call. And uh, if it's a H, right, if you see here, down here, if it's a H, it stands for a put. Okay. Whatever that you see, the numbers, right, after the numbers or the, uh, the alphabet after the C, right, is actually the uh, Warren series, which is uh, not much of a concern because it's just simply a way for the exchange to differentiate between um, different, different warrants. All right. Now, if you are asking, um, what are call warrants used for? What are put warrants used for? Call warrants, they are actually used to gain bullish exposure um, over a, a certain underlying asset. Okay? The, the call warrants, right, they move in the same direction as the underlying asset. So which means, um, if you, let's say you are bullish on a certain underlying asset and uh, you want to uh, trade the call warrant, call warrant will actually increase when the underlying price increases. Okay? Vice versa, for put warrants, right, it's actually on the opposite side. Put warrants, it is um, the instrument that you use to trade the downside of the underlying asset. 
the price movement right, actually moves on the opposite uh, direction of the underlying, which means if the underlying drops, the put warrant would actually increase in value. All right? So put warrants, uh, in short, they are used to gain bearish exposure to earn underlying asset as they increase in value when the underlying um, drops. All right? So <clears throat> after, after um, talking about all those uh, call and puts, you know, the, uh, the types of uh, call, uh, warrants in the market and uh, the types of U.S. warrants in the market uh, that is currently uh, listed in BUSA, I will um, introduce you to the various tools that are available um, website for free. These, these tools, they are, they are all uh, accessible for free from our website, and uh, they do not require any uh, registration at all. Right? Now, before, before we go into the tools part, right, if you have joined our previous talks before, um, just want to refresh a little bit. We have simplified the warrant selection process into four easy steps. These steps are, first one being to determine your view on the underlying asset. So um, will it go up or go down? Okay, this, this will actually guide your decision to either go long or... So after, after taking, taking this step one uh, into account, after you already know your uh, direction, you can go to step two here which is to set a trading time frame that aligns with your trading profile. So in, in, in this uh, step two, right, you might consider how long you are, uh, I mean, how long you expect the underlying asset to move towards your target, or how long do you plan to hold the warrant for? And based on that information, right, you choose your expiry date uh, that, that suits your needs, right? Now, after doing that, um, step three would just be to check the effective gearing levels um, uh, to find a right balance between risk and return because effective gearing measures the expected rate of return in the warrant um, with respect to a 1% change in the uh, underlying assets price. Okay? This means the higher the effective gearing, right, the higher the potential returns as well as the risk. Okay? So it, it is very important to find a right balance that uh, matches your desired profit potential and risk tolerance. Okay? And lastly, um, on step four is to uh, check the warrants liquidity because liquidity is, is an important factor in trading as it determines how easily you can buy and sell this warrant. Okay? So that is the last step to consider after selecting your active gearing. Okay? So this is just like a refresher course um, to show you the uh, sim four simple steps that you can use when trading warrants. All right? Now, after, <clears throat> I will actually show you how these um, tools look like. Um, these tools, okay, let's say, for example, the, the tools that I want to show you here are all for free. And uh, the first one is the Warren Search. Second is the Heat Map. And the third is the Live Matrix Plus, right? Now, <clears throat> if you recall just now the four simple steps, right, you can actually filter out your warrants using this page on our website, malaysiawarrants.com.my. It is for free. So what you need to do is just to um, insert all these uh, fields and to filter out your desired warrants, all right? So this actually saves you a lot of time. You don't have to go through a long list of warrants to see which one is suitable for you. You can actually input all the, uh, the requirements that you require here and you just click Submit and it will show you the warrants that, um, that, that matches the criteria. So it actually saves you a lot of time, all right? The next tool that I want to show you is the Warren heat map tool, which must uh, develop uh, in collaboration with uh, Trade VSA. Uh, this tool actually provides you, I mean, just now if you recall the four simple steps, right? The first step is to have a view of the, uh, uh, of the direction of the underlying. So in, in this case, if let's say you, I mean, uh, as a beginner, you do not have any idea, you know, you don't have, you don't really know uh, uh, what, what is the trend and, and all those stuff. You can actually use this tool uh, because it, it actually provides a directional view of, of the underlying of choice. Okay? And it's, uh, actually, uh, this is based on um, Trade VSA's uh, proprietary indicators. So <clears throat> uh, it actually comes with many different colors. And uh, you can actually go here to click on the. Uh, it's actually, there is, there is uh, a mouse over where you can see what different colors represent. So um, 
let me just show you here it's uh, easier i think okay this is uh this is the uh, the actual uh, heat map that is available on our website our website is actually malaysiawarrants.com.my so it, it actually looks like this so um whatever that you see it actually comes up with comes with charts um say for example you want to see uh this stock for example so it actually comes with charts um complete with uh, trade vsa's um right indi indicators and uh, let's say if you want to trade the warrants you can just uh, click on the name and uh, it will show you the um associated warrants that are associated with the uh the underlines that you select okay if you do not know uh, what what different colors uh, represents right you just have to mouse over and it will show you all right so this is how the warrant uh, heat map looks like and um <clears throat> the next tool is also a very important tool that i would like to show you is the uh, life matrix plus okay this is the tool where you want to refer before trading the warrants all right um okay this this tool right it's called the life matrix it is actually a page that is directly connected to our market making system and it provides information on where our bid and offer prices will be for a warrant based on on various price points in the underlying so with this um uh, life matrix right you can select up to nine different warrants on a single page and this tool actually helps to see where your warrant uh, will be trading at when the uh, mother share or the underlying moves to a certain level so it el eliminates uh, the need to guess or, or you know uh, aga aga or, or something like that so it eliminates the need to guess where the warrant will be trading at when the underlying moves to a certain level. you can just refer here and straight away you will know where the warrant will be at when the certain uh, when the underlying moves to a certain price level all right so this is the live matrix plus the this the three um uh tools that i would like to uh, show you uh which is available for free and uh, hopefully these can improve um your trading experience all right now i'm coming to the yeah i'm coming to the uh, end of the session soon and um the most interesting part for the session um the contest that uh we that i mentioned earlier right the malaysia warrants answer and win contest All right so this is this is um what what this is what it, it is about okay okay this uh is actually an answer and win contest okay which is currently running right the contest right actually started um on the 1st of january this year and will end on the february uh the 28th of february which is um next tuesday so there are a total of uh, four rounds of uh, quizzes throughout the contest period and we have already completed three rounds before this right the fourth and final round right has just began yesterday evening so ah okay yeah. <laughs> so during during this this first three rounds right 300 participants have already won uh, grab vouchers worth uh, 50 ringgit each um with a combined total of uh, 15000 ringgit so if you have missed out on the previous uh, rounds, right, and you want to test your knowledge on, on our US uh, index warrants, now is your chance to, to join and uh, potentially win a voucher worth uh, 50 ringgit, okay? Now, okay, let me, let me, let me tell you um, the details of, of the, uh, the contest. Okay, now each round of the contest, right, there will be two simple questions related to our US index warrants. The first 100 participants uh, to answer both questions correctly will uh, will win each round so to participate in round four right all you need to do is to answer the two questions correctly before tuesday before next tuesday february 28 at 11 59 pm right so all you need to do is to answer the two questions correctly uh, by february 28 and also right you must note that um, each participant can only win one prize throughout the entire contest period okay okay uh, you can actually look at the uh, terms and conditions our on our contest page in our website for further information All right now this to join right it's just very simple uh, it's it's uh, everybody can uh, will know how to join one uh, i think because the first step right you want to join is to just uh, subscribe to our newsletter um you can just go to our, our website malaysiawarrants.com.my and um you can find the newsletter button the subscribe button you just uh, subscribe to our newsletter or you can scan the QR code here, here, the first one newsletter. So 
you scan the QR code and you subscribe to our newsletter. And then the second one is you follow us on Facebook and then on your, our Telegram channel. So if let's say you, you do not want to scan your QR code, right? You can just go to Facebook or Telegram. Just search for Malaysia Warrants. All right, I repeat, search for Malaysia Warrants and you will find us uh, immediately. Okay, now, so after following us on Facebook and Telegram, right? All you have to do is to find the link to the contest questions for round four by just scrolling through our feed. So you scroll through our feed on Facebook or you scroll through our feed on Telegram and you will, you will definitely find the, uh, the contest questions, the link to the contest questions there. So how the contest questions look like, right? Is, uh, let, me, let me just quickly show you. Uh. All right, this is the link to the contest questions. So if you find this in Telegram, you click on the link, it will bring you to this page. And all you have to do is to just answer the questions here and submit. So um, <clears throat> answer the questions and submit. And you just, as simple as uh, clicking on the link and then answer um, the one that, uh, just be the first 100 participants to answer both questions uh, correctly. And you stand a chance to win uh, 50, 50 bucks worth of uh, grab voucher. Today, it right. seems that everyone will stand a chance because we have less than 100 people. So all yes, the people, <laughs> yes, yes, uh, 50, yeah, that's right. Fifty ringgit voucher is worth a lot now these days, especially food prices are going up. All right, for those of you who are listening, take advantage of the offering offered by Mr. KK. All right, here. yes, sir. So um, I've pretty much uh concluded uh, my session. So um, if you want to follow here uh, uh the uh, details. Um, you can just go to uh, Facebook, follow us, just uh, search for Malaysia Warrants, or you go to Telegram, also you search for Malaysia Warrants. One of the things I, I, I find it a lot I enjoy for our audience is to join the Telegram channel, right? Uh, which is very informative. And there's a lot yes, of questions. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> I, I prefer that one. That one's easier. Uh, daily News that is also, I, I'm actually in the Daily News that and also Telegram. That's how ah, I get my I because they always give very good information in there and some of them have good opportunity too. Now there's a question here by any way, uh, Mr. KK, how can we trade the Dow Jones warrant? Is it to open a futures account? Uh, no, no, no. Um, okay, uh, to, to trade these uh, Dow Jones warrants, right, is just by using the existing shares uh, trading account. You don't need to, you don't have to open um, any futures account because we are not trading futures at all. We are just trading the structured warrant. And the structured warrants, they are actually listed in the stock market. So um, your normal CDS and your trading account, would be, uh, all you need to do is to just uh, search for the uh, US index warrants that I mentioned. If let's say, say for example, you want to search for Dow Jones warrants, just search for DJIA and uh, the list of warrants will come up. Yep, you don't have to open any uh, futures. Okay. Any more questions from the uh, audience here? who are with us, uh, take note of the uh, contest just now. We are talking about the questions. Uh, Mr. KK will be here for another few minutes in here. Those of you who have any questions to ask. Uh, of course, for we have many of our Muslim friends in here. They will be jo uh, Jenny asking uh, some of your products, uh, you know, in a sense. Uh, but then again, US, what, what do you think? Uh, is it halal? Uh, so it's not uh, it's not Sharia compliant. Okay, not sure. All right, noted that. Okay, for our Muslim friends there. But I think for the others, uh, there is definitely. Uh, I I played a bit on the uh, future side. I find that for for this, it's much easier because you don't need to open a futures account in the US side, and you need to go to a different platform. With this, it is such an ease. All you gotta do is use the uh, uh Malaysia warrant using the uh, uh, the Pentagon uh, heat map there you, that you can see in here and look for those which is uh, very active if you want to go long, or you want to go short. Right now, as I said before, the chart that you see on the green uh, Pentagon, you see a lot of them are turning red. So it's rather to go yeah. on the short side. That's my opinion right now that I see tonight. So on the short side, you can do make money in here and later on you can uh, turn back long again. So it's a really strategy. You can go both along in here. All right. Any more questions? All right. If you've got no more questions, I thank you for uh, Mr. 
KK tonight for coming to join us in here. I do hope that we have a chance to answer Miss Anyway is uh, her question in here. And she did ask later on how to join the contest. I think we already answered you on that one. All right. Yep. Thank you again. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your support, the audience. If you do have any questions, you can always post back to me in here. So right now, I would invite our next speaker, Mr. Fu, to continue on by one of his favorite indicator, the volume flow, and how he uses it to share with our audience, especially our members in here. So don't go away yet. We have a, a very good offer tonight in here. Just another uh, uh, 30, another 30 minutes more for Mr. Fu to share what he has to offer. And uh, there is some uh, great benefits going in here. All right, Mr. Fu, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Martin. Okay, uh, everyone can hear me, yeah? Okay. Can, can. Okay, so I start to share my screen. Okay, good evening, more members, huh? Okay, today actually I want to I lost your voice. Fu. I can't hear you, Fu. Turn on your, you mute yourself. Okay. okay, can you hear me? Yeah, better? yeah it's better now. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, so I try to open also my video. It's a freeze that I will uh, off it again. I think it's better you turn off your video because it's causing the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, the, the, the line of my, my, my signal here is a little bit uh, uh, not strong. Yeah. I just turn okay, off your... Okay, so I start today the... Okay, I start today my, my, my slide of presentation. You know, I just want to... Okay, I adjust a little bit. Sorry. Okay, just want to, to, to show up show up this. Okay. So uh, actually today I will give you some uh, uh short introductions about uh understanding and how to actually trade this uh, structure warrant. Okay. Structure warrant is a very um I can say that it's a, a quite um uh, uh is it's not hard. But just that you need to know what is uh, is about before you start to trade because you can trade both sides. Okay, if the market is uh, uh, um bullish, you can also uh, uh trade, and also when it's a bearish, you also can trade because you got uh both uh call and put warrant. Okay, so actually um before you start uh to sell uh to trade this uh, structure warrant, first thing you need to know is how you select the call warrant okay call warrant and put warrant okay so i, I put it here uh it's a, it's a totally of a structure warrant first you need to know the underlying uh asset okay so your your warrant let's say example you are based in uh, uh, uh dow john or you are based in uh hang Seng index okay so or you can base in uh uh our malaysia hkl ci okay and other than that the uh, Warrant is not only can um, underlying under uh, uh, index. Actually, the, the underlying also can be in uh, stock. Let's say like my last time, the my EG. Okay, when my EG start to jump water the time. Okay, so uh, actually there's a few put warrant. Okay, so in the market, there is a benefit quite good from the, from the big drop. Okay, so other than a uh, uh, company index, okay, so all you need to know is uh, you need to be uh, uh, understand what is the underlying your trade on. Okay, so another one will be the exercise price. Okay, so because of all warrant or uh, structure warrant, there is a, a limit on their uh, um, capital. Let's say, example, like some of the Dow, Dow, uh, uh, Dow John uh, um, uh, structure warrant, there is a bar on uh, 33,000. Okay, so uh, the, any any uh, index is above this uh, note, that means you are in money. That means your uh, structure warrant is got uh, value. But if it's below this uh, exercise price, okay, if your call about is a call warrant, okay, it's call warrant, it will become a zero value. Okay, that means when you come to an expiring date, you will end up zero. You have nothing value on that. Okay, so this is very important. It's because if you keep the warrants too long, and let it uh, be there, like, like you, you trade the warrant like a stock, 
that will be a very dangerous uh, uh, um, uh, things because stock won't uh, won't go to uh, expired okay but structure warrant will go uh, uh, for expired okay so that's why uh, the exercise price okay and also together the uh, the expiring date is both these two is very important okay you need to know that uh, uh, the underlying share and uh, uh, price that will be exercised uh, expiring date this is the three major things you need to know uh, basically first before you're selecting a call warrant okay other than that then we'll be going into a more technical part the technical part will be implant volatility premium and volume and liquid liquidity okay so actually the first three part from here actually is the basic okay just like uh, uh, how to say uh, uh, okay so underlying share is let's say you are trading a Dow Jones okay exercise price is uh, 33,000 and uh, your expiring date may maybe uh, uh, maybe on uh, uh, 20, 30 of March okay so that's mean by 30 of March by first of uh, uh, let's say by the month of uh, April your you will you won't see your call warrant again okay your call warrant will disappear okay so all your money actually burn okay so this is a very important thing you need to take note okay this is a uh, uh, basic okay so this number th uh, uh, four five and six is more technical okay like implant volatility how the the warrant move okay so sometimes the Dow Jones some some of the uh, uh, warrant that you are, are selected let's say a Dow Jones he it like yesterday dropped about 600 point actually the the warrant that you you are uh, uh, implant volatility the calculation only in, in the morning or maybe drop only uh, or three percent okay or if you are in uh, uh, if you are invest in put warrant maybe just only up three percent okay but for Dow Jones to drop 600 is quite a lot already but the uh, sensitiveness of your warrant is not there okay actually we need to uh, uh, have a very high volatility is because let's say yesterday the Dow Jones uh, dropped 600 I want my put warrant at least already up 30 percent okay that's only we can make more money okay so uh, the implant volatility is um, it's a calculation mathematic and actually is a is a binary and have a, a different type of code and all this uh, let, like uh, let's say you are invest in SP 500 okay uh, the implant volatility actually come from weeks okay the weeks calculation a little bit and also uh, uh, some um, uh, binary code uh, and uh, 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 their, their standard calculation okay so um, and another one is will be the premium 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 is a price to pay for the uh, call warrant okay consider the premium is related to other factors and your investment growth to determine if it is a reason, uh, reasonable price to pay actually premium is uh, uh, almost um, there's a, a something related with the exercise price okay so if your premium is more higher then you will be uh, um, a, be a better uh, position okay another one is volume and liquidity okay this is very important because uh, some of the warrant okay so uh, 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 the, the mother's the, the mother stock uh, like Dow Jones is going up okay but your warrant uh, uh, your call warrant or your put warrant okay no one trade okay so you can uh, it's like 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 you've got a price but no market okay you can shop wherever you want okay so but no one want to buy okay what will happen so if like this this one is the stock uh, a, a warren is called a uh, uh, i call it is a sorted fish <laughs> um, a warren lah, okay so this is a ready dead fish there so no need to 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 do anything and you and you should not buy at the first place okay so this is uh, um uh, first three is a uh, uh, lay uh, basic four four and five is the technical okay actually come to the, the uh, in most important thing is the market condition this is whereby you need to read the chart only you can know where is the direction of the uh, uh, um, market okay so this like uh, I, I put an example for now this is uh, uh, our um, uh, FKRI okay so this is this chart is uh, uh, I, uh, last two days one okay last two days one uh, uh i just want to show you a little bit is here we have a uh, two indicator this is a uh, vf 2.1 and we have trade zone okay so during the time that uh, uh actually um i can say that 
um, a, a few a few days ago okay so we already detect the the market is going to down okay this is give you a lot of inch to position yourself in the call and put warrant okay uh, in the first part of uh, uh, you, you're selecting the, 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 the structure another one is the how you determine when you go in that that's the golden key you need to be a uh, 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 turning point okay so this is the turning point that we are always look at let's say example like you can see that the green is already run as sorted okay you can see like a bull run okay the bull run this one is more uh what well, first first wave okay so this is like uh, uh, uh this is a one wave for nila but uh bear is one wave a second wave and suddenly you have a turning point okay when the turning point is strong there will be quite pop up going up very very fast okay and if you are in the right position of a structure warrant okay so you will be benefit a lot okay so um uh, beside or how you select everything you need to make sure you have the tools to know where is the market direction okay example like like, like all these uh, uh moving okay this one will your your structure warrant will have um uh profit one okay so uh, either it's call or put okay so it depends it's uh, going out or going down but when the market is going sideways actually both call and put warrants is don't move anyway one okay so you're very hard to trade okay also when you are but how you know that the market is in a sleeping mode okay so we have a indicator to have a, a, a forecast okay it's uh, just and uh, it's not um a, a, a prediction model okay it's just, it's just that it's a uh, we reduce the noise in the chart. Let's say in the chart you see a lot of noise, and you sometimes see this uh, candlestick. Or what does this mean? And uh, why suddenly turn down? And why suddenly go up? This is we need to filter up the noise. Okay, so to become a layman term, uh, people can see quite uh, um, uh, easily. Okay, so that's why when we when we are developing the this uh, uh, this two indicator, wherever uh, uh, this line is below this uh, ML line, we call it a momentum line. That means your uh, background is going down. Okay, so plus also the price action at the same time is uh, uh, also moving down. That means you are in the direction of uh, going down okay so going down until you see a turning point a, a strength is coming in before you end the bull run okay so let's uh sorry let's end the bear okay so like this one is a bear you like a you you have a a, a rebound okay but you want your rebound in, in the red color that means this is a fake rebound this is a a weak rebound okay so weak rebound will, will be result another more deep okay but however when we see a dip okay so it, we already know that it, it looks like it's turning to green okay so that is our opportunity okay that's why uh, by by reading the chart is also is a very important uh in in our uh uh, uh warrants uh, trading so okay so when you are trading a warrant uh without seeing an uh, underlying chart is that mean you are really look uh, watching a movie without a sound okay so how good is it you know, sometimes you don't know what they are talking about okay so um uh, beside that in malaysia okay stock market actually uh what i say uh in the earlier we have basically got two type of a uh, call warrant and a uh, put warrant okay so and and all this is a uh, is actually is a security uh, uh hold of the of the right okay so uh, this is actually the basic uh, okay explain what is the uh got two cases uh call warrant or put warrant okay and warrant are issued by third party okay structural warrant actually is issued by third party is not from that stock let's say example if you are buying uh, uh ny uh eg structure warrant okay you are nothing to do with the 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 stock uh by himself okay you uh nothing with the uh stock uh you add, add by when it's a uh, uh, expiring that time you can straight away go into exchange become a NYEG stock no way it will be called to uh if it is uh, not in money you will go to straight away zero okay you are burn up okay so that's why uh, uh underlying uh stock you need to change uh or, or or trade is very important you need to know where is their situation okay so um this is um another another is uh, to become a successful uh to trade myself actually yeah uh, i still uh i'm a I, i'm a trade uh, structure warren regular okay so i'll, I'll find out there is a, a few things that you need to be uh, uh consider okay so to understand the term of the 
warrant is very very important okay so and conduct a true search uh, investing uh um i can say that in stock market uh to earn money in this stock market is never never be easy okay the hard work at the background okay and your risk toleration market condition market cycle in uh, and your planning is all to be there it's like running a business okay so no hanky panky thing okay no uh, uh you need to have a go through a lot of research and understanding okay before you do that investment same like a structure warrant everything you need to be an expiring date strike price okay term and condition you are buying uh, in which uh, uh, bank of this uh, structure warrant also it will be a very uh, uh, crucial things to determine your profit okay so uh, um, other than uh, these two are under un understanding condition okay so you need to be also keep an eye on this volatility okay so volatility actually is another um, uh, uh, very uh, important things okay because uh, sometimes the, the index is going up okay but the degree of your uh, your core warrant is uh, very less okay here already up uh, let's say uh, uh, 20 percent okay so your underlying uh, uh, structure warrant is only up about three percent okay so this is uh, what we did not uh, uh, want to have and um, what we need to know is another is this volatility in that actually that depends on this week, uh, this index, and this index is change. Okay, so that's why we, when this one change, your volatility or implant volatility index in your structure warrant also will change uh, differently. So that's why you need to have um, know it where. Uh, if when the volatility is not that good or, or the implant volatility percentage already drop, then you need, need to maybe switch to a different uh, structure warrant. Okay, in the market, the structure warrant is many in plenty. Okay, but not all structure warrant is good to trade and got um, uh, how to say it's a good lah. Okay, so um, another one is the uh, one thing is very very important is to stop loss. Okay, sometimes we did not know. Okay, so you, you thought the market is going this way. Okay, but the market is going here okay so um what you think and what it be okay so when it's a not 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 correlated okay it's a core or not uh, a line you need to cut loss okay you need to cut and switch okay switch the direction okay so um uh, in, in trading a, a, a structure warrant this discipline is a must okay so cut loss is cut loss no hanky panky saying that oh wait and see okay Wait and see because a structure warrant there is an expiring date. Okay, you cannot wait long. Okay, once you wait too long, the 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 expiry date is near, liquid liquidity is down, then a lot of things will be uh, 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 not in favor. Okay, but however, why structure warrant is so so uh, uh, um, uh, actually uh, how attract uh, investor is because we can benefit a lot of from the index. Let's say. Um, we don't need to put a lot of money to, to invest in this uh, Dow Jones, okay? But sometimes if you get a good uh, structure warrant uh, percentage, Dow Jones just only up 1%, okay? Your structure warrant can be 20%, okay? So it's a leverage and uh, a calculation on behalf on uh, like uh, your underlying stock, okay? So that's why uh, also same thing, like, okay? Go up fast and also will go down fast, okay? That's why fast cast lock, Cut, cut loss and discipline is a very uh, uh, important things in structure warrant okay so um, uh, beside that uh, we can see that uh, this is uh, one of the example when we are showing a chart let's say example now okay Dow, uh, Dow Jones okay yesterday is uh, uh, already dropped uh, 600 now it's still in a, 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 a slightly positive okay so uh, we do not know how far it will go okay so that's why when you are analysis the the stock not only a structure warrant you need to know have an indicator to come in okay so like this one is a, actually is a wave okay it's a wave then you can see that the wave is getting narrow okay so that means either shift of direction must happen either go up or stop go down okay stock never work sideways for a long long time okay so <coughs> so this one is already uh can be said it's overdue you need to choose side okay either go out or go down okay but look like now is a uh, uh still still lingering here okay so but uh, uh whether 
a uh, um, it's, it looks like the weakness at the background is coming in. Okay, so uh, to benefit how to trade the market to come down, uh, you need to be selecting a, 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 a put volume. And I sometimes I, I I like to have a put some uh, insurance into your your profile is when because of when your investment is stock. Okay, uh, if you invest direct to US stock, you can short and uh, short and long is still okay. But how about if you are uh, trading in a, a Malaysia stock? Okay, Malaysia stock is only all can go up. Okay, why what happened if our index suddenly uh, a big drop like last year? Okay, so like 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 last year, uh, um, uh, begin the whole year almost is dropped. Okay, so um, to to insurance it. Okay, so you sometimes you keep the stock. Okay, but you you fundamentally you don't want to buy. Okay, you don't want to sell it. Okay, because it's fundamental sound. Okay, so you sometimes can invest some put warren. Okay, just in case the market drop. Okay, you still got some uh, uh price uh, uh some profit you can uh, uh, uh secure. Okay, so but uh, uh, the market can move both sides out now. It's very uh how to say uh, in this year <coughs> twenty twenty three uh too many black swam uh activity may happen okay like liquidity problem okay uh, dollar crisis and also uh, uh, the bond and the the uh, curve yield everything has uh, is already in the position of uh, might be some black swan is going to hit the market okay so that's why uh, it will be uh, um, we need to be prepared our, ourselves okay uh, to make sure uh, when we arrive and we know the next cycle of the market okay so this is uh, uh, our market uh, KLCI okay so it's already uh, in a red color okay so um, I can say that it's uh, quite quite dangerous now okay so but but we do not know the market okay so anything can be happen in the uh, both side okay or maybe certainly uh, some uh, <coughs> some smart money is want to oh, straight away uh, uh, going up the market or certainly the uh, US got some uh, good news but Based on the indicator that we have now, is based on whatever data that is in this uh, uh, candlestick, and we uh, uh, how this indicator to filter up the noise and do the uh, um, some extra information at the background of the strength. Okay, so this is uh, <coughs> sorry, this is uh, the example chart. Okay, so this is a uh, 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 final uh, slide for my presentation. Uh, I just want to. Uh, 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 put up the the uh, how to say my experience actually is uh, structure warrant is look like going to in the casino okay the risk is there you uh, when you are in a in a casino you know okay this this table is one over ratio how much okay one over ten okay this is one over or uh, twenty okay so why this a lot of people liquidity is there but why this one no okay who is this guy here okay and it's some from the some table why no one Okay, so that's why this is a liquidity. Okay, so you don't want to be in a uh, uh, trade your warrant in here. Okay, you need to be here. Okay, or this guy is much more bad luck. Okay, so if more people can <laughs> can earn more money, then go here. Okay, so uh, then this one is like look like a master lah. Okay, so we don't know <laughs> it's like one to one deal. Okay, so that's why uh, when you are investing in a uh, structure warrant, uh, it's look really really look like a, like a casino. So you need to select the correct one. And make sure you cut loss. Okay, so when you are in this table, okay, you are uh, uh, not uh, 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 you you are losing or is not numb. Okay, uh, uh, sweep your table. Okay, so just jump to another table or jump to another table. Okay, so that's why a discipline uh, uh, and structure is very important. Okay, in structure warrant trading. Okay, must be ready. Okay, so before you walk into the uh, uh, casino, because uh, if you are not prepared yourself, okay. The chances to to lose money is ninety percent. Okay, and 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 one thing is uh, uh for Muslim friend uh structure warrants is uh non Sharia compliance uh and actually is not uh uh um uh, 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 is uh, not compliant one. Okay, so um uh before I, I I stop my presentation, I will just uh, uh introduce my course. Okay, actually myself has been uh, uh trading this uh, structure warrant. Uh, quite long time already, and last year, uh, luckily, luckily, uh, I also uh, feel that luckily we can, uh, I can uh, uh, trip structure warrant because I have a put warrant along the way when the market is uh, uh, drop down. Okay, so um, uh, I last year I also I already conducted uh, one class. Okay, so 
uh, this year can find some uh, uh, last year I, uh, about uh, July I think if I'm not mistaken July or June okay so now for some time then we will uh, I reconduct again the 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 uh, the cost okay so uh, with the cost of uh, uh, 4x3 okay so you have a uh, three month coaching and monitoring in the uh, telegram and also you have get the three month free uh, VS indicator what you see inside the, the chart okay because when you are trading the structure warrant understand structure warrant is one thing but you need to understand what the chart and what is the direction of your underlying stock okay so this is um some roughly briefing Hopefully, you are, you are enjoying uh, 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 the, uh, the, the, the slide here and hopefully you can learn something and get some uh, uh, information from here. And uh, stay tuned, okay? So because uh, Martin will uh, uh, or still offer, will, will offer you much more things, goodies for the, today. Okay? All right. Now, uh, okay, this you. pricing 483 uh, is only for existing member, okay? Uh, uh, yes, correct, yeah. So this 483 is for existing members. So as I said before, this is something uh, very, very beneficial for our existing member. For those of you uh, who is listing our existing member, this is a special three-month mentor uh, mentoring, including uh, what uh, uh, this uh, uh, fool is talking about. Uh, uh, you have a Telegram chat room. We will access the VF indicator. So it's almost one hand and hold it, especially those of you who is really looking for the uh, short-term trading. But now many of you who are not our members, not, not yet, uh, I'm going to give you an opportunity right now so you can see this. I'm sharing uh, what we are offering tonight, only tonight. Uh, so you have to uh, wait. Okay, Don't wait too long because this special promotion is until 23rd of February, which is tomorrow. So this is a chance where you can get Two for the price of one. One is a structured warrant cost, what uh, Coach Fu is talking about, the three-month coaching plus whatever you've seen on the VF indicator, plus our VSA 360 dashboard, which have the new January insider buying and selling, right? So you can really benefit both from the uh, going long, going short strategy, which is very suitable on what KK was talking about, the US index. Right now, I already shared you before, we have seen the red pentagon coming up, so it's a good period to be shorting. But for those of you who also want to learn about the Malaysian market, the insider is there. We have something also on the shorter term is the structured warrant cost, which is cost is 483. Now, if we add 483 to 2688, that's almost 3,170 again. But tonight, we are giving you the structured warrant cost, totally FOC. When you sign up for our trade VHA, dashboard and the plug-in. You get the full plug-in, you get the 12-month membership in here, and this promotion is only offered until 23rd of February, uh, at least until tomorrow night, 12 p.m. So uh, take advantage of this one in here, and for those of you who don't, uh, you can also share that with your friend, and as I said before, this is a very special deal. We don't do too many of this one in here, and definitely tonight is the time to you know get hold of it, and uh, I, I do believe uh, many of the uh, full student has done pretty well from the first course, and that's why we are doing it again. So uh, to sum up tonight's talk, we are coming into 10 o'clock, almost, uh, uh, you know, we started about one hour, half ago. The whole point is the U.S. market and what we talk about. Now, we all know POC, the chat GPT, right, uh, has tremendous becoming more productive. So as people are becoming more productive, definitely their earnings will good. Of course, at the same time, market go through ups and downs. And that's why we need an uh, instrument like the uh, Macquarie Warren instrument that we can go long and short. But even during that time frame, right, we still need the VF, the uh, volume flow, to decide. Really, and why not better right now? With the three-month course uh, mentoring that you have plus the 12 months membership that you have, you will be uh, uh, you know, mentored. And we are coming up with our new program also with the coming February for mentorship to bring you up to the next level. But in short, the US market will go through very profound changes through the productivity it is. But right now, we are seeing the market very fearful. As I said before, early on, the stocks is going to have short-term volatility and then it's going to move up in here. And part of the reason why is because the S&P 500 earnings. As company becoming more productive, bringing in all these new AI tools as part of their native application or add it in there, 
they're able to do more with less employee. That's why earnings margin is going to go up. And when margin goes up, revenue goes up, return on equity goes up, what happened to the stock? Stock's going to go up. So in long run, a lot of this company will do long in here. So tonight, uh, if any of the uh, members who have any question that you want to ask Fu or myself or KK in here, right? do put it in there. I'll be happy to answer them. All right? Any question, just, just pencil those in here. And uh, we just have a few just now in here, right? And of course, we always said before, it's very important. The year 2023 become the year of education. Huh? So education is where we start off with the assessment of the skill. We get you prepared, our training in here. And then the training goal, whether you want to do the weekly or monthly in here, together with full VF, that is definitely good. What to trade on? We have the instrument in here. Of course, we also be looking at stocks. Our trading system tools continue to improve. We have the insider buying any. And we also have the virtual trading floor. Some of our members who come in, we get them to trade on this uh, uh, paper trading platform. So we can see the kind of trading style that they're doing, whether they're winning their losses. And remember, just like I said before in there, the difference between uh, the soldiers that we see in Russia and the soldiers we see in Ukraine is that the Ukraine are more well-trained. For, for most part of it, they go through six months of training and they come out and yet they are facing a formidable fall, which is the Russian. Whereas the Russians are not well trained, you can see that is why we have so much heavy casualty in that. And very similar in here, the coach like we are, the drill sergeant, we want to make sure all of you who participate in all our courses are well trained here. If you're not doing well over the last six to 12 months in here, wouldn't you give yourself a credit to stay in line and get well-trained with the latest and most efficient tools in here? Thank you, Nora, for the uh, support that we are getting here in here. So we want to bring out the best for our members in here. As I said before, full course on structured product together with the VSA and using the tools. That we, then you can see all our orientation members in here continue to make money uh, to even in our virtual trading world in here, right? And right now, uh, there is a, a, what we call an installment plan to pay for 2688 and you get a full structured warrant cost uh, through our uh, uh, in Shopee in here. You can go over to Shopee, just type trade VSA plugin 2688 and you can pay by 12 month installment. A great deal, a lot of savings that you will get, uh, end up. You'll also pay for the uh, whatever the charges is. 2688 is all you have to invest your money in here, right? And of course, Trade VSA, we're very proud of our Pentagon Guider, which have been helping many investors, especially during this COVID in here. Uh, we get most of the time right, but not all of them right at the same time. But we do believe what we have seen in here with the green and red Pentagon giving you the right frame of mind here. Many of our members and you have uh, seen it before. Give us a try, right? Uh, and for the price that we talk about in here, you're able to get the first mover advantage, definitely put you into the position uh, to take advantage if the market goes down, whether it goes up in here. But overall, we are still bullish on the US AI market in here. All right, with that, I end tonight uh, since there's no more questions in here. Thank you for coming. It's uh, really a long one and a half hour. Thank you, members. Thank you for your support in here. And do share our Telegram chat room uh, with your uh, friends and colleagues so they will be first informed to all the many facets of the instrument that take opportunity of the market right now that we see in here. And good night. And thank you for your uh, patronage. And I'll see you on our coming talk, which is on Friday in here. Good night. Thank you.